Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Now I'm going to be showing off the P63 King Cobra, the Russian premium version, in honor to preview all of the Russian premium aircrafts. Um, now, the one I just previewed recently was the PBY 5A Catalina, and I had a great time flying that out with um, Fly and Intac, and it was just a fun, fun time. And if you haven't seen that, check out the video because I got an insane amount of silver lines from that. Now right now we're seeing the P-63 King Cobra in arcade. And in arcade it performs a lot better than in historical battle. And you can kind of see right there the main reason you're going to fly this. It has four 50 caliber machine guns and one 37 millimeter cannon. Now between those five guns that is a considerable amount of firepower and all you really need is to land one 37 millimeter shell and your foe will explode in front of your eyes so short bursts generally when they're on target you're gonna get your kill and um, the economy right now something interesting the relative performance of aircraft is kind of uh, showed off in the boosts that aircraft get You'll notice that when looking at this currently, as of 1.31 in time of filming, the arcade bonus is a 160% boost to Silver Lions, whereas in Historical Battle, where this aircraft is kind of outclassed as far as Tier 10s are, it receives a 480% boost to Silver Lions. Now right here, I'm having this Corsair jump on me, because that Corsair can outclimb me, it can outdive me, and if it's a C, it has 20 millimeter cannons, so its firepower is comparable to mine. So that is a very dangerous aircraft. Um, something interesting about this aircraft is it was designed by the Americans, but the American Air Force and American Navy did not use this aircraft. They sold it to the Russians. The Russians really were big fans of the uh, Air Cobras and the King Cobras. But Americans did not fly the P-63s. Um, now in historical, for tier 10, I feel like this aircraft is kind of outclassed in most areas. It's not the best turner, it's not the best climber, it has decent firepower, but you have to be very conservative with your 37mm ammunition, of which you only have 30 shots. So you need to be very accurate. Furthermore, this, the P-63, has an M4 cannon, and when comparing it to other 37mm cannons, um, I was kind of comparing it to the Soviet NS-37mm autocannon, and there's kind of a trade-off with big cannons on fighter aircraft, and that is you can kind of uh, trade muzzle velocity. Um, like lower muzzle velocity means your aircraft won't be rocked as hard when you fire a shot and um, the M4 had a lower muzzle velocity so you can test this out for yourselves and you should because it's really educational and it's good for you to kind of become aware that not all 37 millimeter cannons are created equal uh, the M4 drops quicker because of its lower muzzle velocity it also has a slower rate of fire than the NS-37, which you'll find in the Yak-9T. Now this was a lot of fun. I cannot wait to play P-51s, so it was an honor shooting this guy down. And um, look at those 50s. The sounds of the 50s is just great. I'm a big fan, and do not underestimate the power of 50 caliber machine guns. Also, that's what a 37 millimeter does to your wing. One hit is all you need with that cannon. That is the main reason you're going to use this. But back to the 37mm cannons. By the way, these cannons are going to be a lot more interesting, and these aircraft are going to be a lot more interesting to play in terms of targets you're going to be able to go after once the naval and ground components are uh, put into the game. Because a 37mm cannon, um, like the M4 specifically, at 500 yards will be able to pierce 25 millimeters of armor. So lighter vehicles, lighter tanks, armored cars, stuff like that, you'll be able to crack them with that 37mm cannon. Furthermore, a lot of 
37 millimeter uh, armed aircraft were used by the Soviets in the Black Sea as anti-shipping where they were fighting Italians, Germans, Romanians. So that would be pretty cool. Imagine strafing some uh, transport ships. Right now you can't uh, you do that, but I would imagine that Gaijin is going to change that because they're going for historical accuracy and they kind of have placeholder models at this stage of beta. But in the future, it's going to be pretty exciting. Now here I'm able to uh, kind of take down another superior aircraft, but that's mostly because of the decisions they made and the positions I had on them, not as a result of my aircraft performing better. Um, but another good example of a 37 millimeter cannon. That's why you're going to use this aircraft. That in the economy buff. In historical battle, 480% boost to silver lines, which is pretty sizable. But yeah, the NS 37 millimeter cannon, the Soviet one, had a higher muzzle velocity, so it will fire more. It'll fire further before dropping than the M4 cannon that the Americans used. Um, and the NS-37 also had a higher rate of fire. And then you compare that to the German BK-37 cannon. And that's what you can find on the uh, Stuka, the G versions, the G1 and G2. And you'll notice when you fire that, they're snipers pretty much, to use uh, the term loosely. You can basically hit whatever you want. Now, my luck ran out here, going up against a F4U one C Corsair. Those things will knock me out of the skies and at only a few tiers above you, you kinda can see other aircraft you'll probably use. But German BK-37 cannon um, its velocity was 1170 to 780 meters per second um, much higher than both the Soviet and the American cannons and uh, so that's kinda the trade-off but overall impressions of this aircraft it's fun, and it's kind of a challenge, actually, to use the 37mm cannon in historical battles. You have to be very accurate, and that's actually helped me develop a little more as a pilot. And um, you also have 450s backing you up, and that economy boost, which is pretty sizable. So if you're a fan of these aircraft, you're obviously going to get one if you're playing the Soviets. But uh, my overall opinion, I would definitely play a little more, but there's other aircraft within you know, the 9 to 11 tier that I would choose over the P-63 King Cobra. I'm Baron, and I hope you found that information on the 37mm cannons interesting, and uh, hope you enjoy this. Let me know what aircraft and what nations you want me to cover next. I'm Baron, and I'm out.